All right, Shane, do a quick video for you. Speaking to a gentleman today, a previous customer is going to buy some more stuff, and, and this question is revolved around the size differences between the uh, Mad Rock Safeguard as well as the uh, Lori by Bornak. So I told him I'd take some pictures, but I thought I'd just do a quick video to illustrate the size differences. So I'm going to hold these up. This is the Mad Rock. This is the Lori. So you can see the Mad Rock's quite a bit smaller. The Lori, the Lori is a uh, it's a heavier device. It's a it's a little bit heavier duty. Um, it's rated for 11 millimeter. I use it on 10, 10 millimeter all the time with no problems at all. It's a Mad Rock compared to figure eight. The Lori compared to a figure eight. Something that I'll make a uh, note of, the handle on the Lori is quite a bit bigger than the handle on the Mad Rock. So um, something I like about this, I, a lot of times I'll wear gloves when I'm climbing or repelling. Uh, many times even when I'm hunting here in Kentucky, it gets kind of cool some. So I'll have gloves on a little easier to grab. Uh, if you're using it in an industrial application or a search and rescue application, even bigger, easier. It's just more meat on that handle to grab. So if that's important to you, that's something to think about. All right, so now I'm going to introduce my uh, cameraman and my partner, Kaysen. He's going to hand me some 8mm Rest Tech rope. He's going to say hi. Hi. All right, so this is 8mm Rest Tech. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to drop it. I'm going to, to show the size difference and how much more supple the rest, the 8mm is than 10, I'm going to make a so quick Mountaineer's Coil. You can see how easy the rope flows, how light it is, how... Uh, how supple it is. It's very light, very small rope. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna fold it in half. All right, so Casey's gonna hand me some 10 millimeter PMI real quick. All right, this is a fine rope. I use this a lot. This is my go-to rope when I'm using a lorry myself to hunt with. So, Again, it's Mountaineer's Coil. You can see it's working easy. There's nothing wrong with it, but it is a little stiffer, a little heavier rope. I mean, it's 20% bigger than 8 millimeter. So, you see as I work with it, these are both 40 foot sections, by the way, that I'm, that I'm showing you here. So, you've got the same length of two different sizes of rope. Fold that one in half, and I can't get my hand all the way around it. The 8 millimeter, I can. So, you see the differences between the two. 40 feet of 10 millimeter, 40 feet of 8 millimeter. Uh, I'll set those aside and show you how the Mad Rock and the Lori both attach to a piece of rope. So the Mad Rock, much the way a ropeman does, the Mad Rock is dependent upon a carabiner to help it, help keep it closed. So throw this in there and you can see the loop right there. Take a carabiner, put it through, it's gonna close. So, put this back. There's my handle, releases tension. I've got another video that actually shows this uh, being used with 8 millimeter rope. And you can see in the video, it holds me fine. I'm a pretty big guy. So, the Lori by Bornat closes a little bit differently. So, I push the silver button and open it up. And I feed the rope through. This is 9 millimeter rope, by the way, I'm throwing this on up here. So the lorry closes itself, and it's not dependent upon a uh, carabiner in any form or fashion. Carabiner goes right here, but the device itself isn't dependent upon the carabiner to, to function properly. One thing about this is it has an anti-panic feature. So, I'm pulling my handle out, I'm repelling, I'm coming down. If something happens and I yank the handle, it's gonna lock it out and stop my stop my descent. So I actually have to reset it to, to come back down later. So I hope that shows the size differences. Uh, the, the Lori, as well as the 10 millimeter are fine devices or fine rope. Uh, I use them myself, but that should show you the size difference and I hope it answers your question. So thank you for taking the time to watch.